Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I have a huge, 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 huge clothing haul for you today, so we're not gonna talk at all or ramble in the beginning. Um, so if you guys are interested in all of these gorgeous new pieces that I have, continue on watching. I just wanna say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, ShopTagger. You guys have heard me talk about ShopTagger before. ShopTagger is a smart assistant online shopper tool. Um, if you're a shopaholic just like me, check out the link down below. Super easy, helps you get your coupons, helps you save money, helps you to start smart shopping smarter, um, and definitely get you some discounts on the pieces that I'm featuring today. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how it works. You want to click the link down below and it's going to take you to this page where you're going to get the button. You'll create an account just so it has all of your information saved in a profile. Once you've got the button, I already have mine saved to Chrome, you'll go to your dashboard. So this is where you have all of your saved items. As you can see, a few of them actually went on sale already, like these trousers and these Nine West heels. You can also see on the left-hand side your different saves, your coupons, these different stores, and cash back as well. But I want to show you Shop Tagger in action because that's my favorite part. You can see if you press the button on whatever web page you're on, you can see that it has a coupon live feed. It shows you your dashboard. It's almost like a shortcut of your dashboard and your profile. But here we are at a website called Farfetch. Um, I'm eyeing this Burberry one-piece swimsuit for the summer. It's a vintage piece and it is really pricey for a swimsuit. So I just saved my size and I saved any price changes because ShopTagger just automatically will let you know through email and push notifications. Another really amazing tool from ShopTagger and I think you guys are going to love this part. I've been really eyeing this Saint Laurent tote and it is really expensive. It's almost $1,200 before tax, but I want to show you guys that ShopTagger actually has these live coupons once you hit the ShopTagger button. So here we are at checkout. It already found a few coupons and I apply the codes. Not only is ShopTagger testing the codes, but I can also save this item for the shop tagger to let me know when any price changes happen via email and push notifications. So as it's testing these codes, it's putting them in and I don't have to do anything else because shop tagger already is doing all the work for me. Now I've saved over $200. It would have definitely saved on this item here and I'm honestly considering purchasing it. Um, if you don't already have it, make sure you check out the link down below. Um, it's really, really easy to install. You get push notifications, emails, um, just to let you know that your item that you're looking for is discounted. I even use it for some of my higher end pieces and it'll let me know when there's even a little bit of a discount. So if you guys are interested in ShopTagger, make sure you check out the link down below, but let's get started with the haul. Okay, so as you can see, these tones are very monochromatic. In the last Zara haul that I did in the winter, I featured this hoodie and I was talking about like wearing this in on those days, on Saturdays and stuff, and that's literally what I've done today. It's just a Saturday, so it goes to show I actually wear the clothes that I buy. So the first piece, I don't have enough hangers because again, I have too many clothes in my closet. Um, so I just kind of doubled up. Um, but the first piece is by Princess Polly. So Princess Polly is Australian brand, um, makes some really cute, girly, um, but kind of edgy pieces. I really like Princess Polly um, a lot. Some of the pieces that I'm featuring were gifted just for transparency and honesty. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I do really like this top. It's kind of sheer -er in the stomach area. And then it's got a lining um, right in the I just got my lipstick on the strap. Um, yeah, so this piece is definitely going to be worn a ton during the summer. The second piece is this one by Fashion Nova. This was a really great piece to pair with like leather leggings, um, jeans, anything, sweats even. It's just a really nice crop top, especially because it's colder, so I like the long sleeve a lot. And again, this is in a size small, the Fashion Nova piece. And then this one is in a size US 8, um, just to fit the girls. And then... The next set here, which I know you guys were eyeing, I know you, you were looking at this little set here. This one is by Lulu's. It's just a top and bottoms kind of jogger pajama bottom set. 
um, along, well, it has good tie front in the front, and then along with like this matching set top, I got a medium size top and a small size bottom, which I love that they don't sell it together, they sell it separately as two different pieces. I'm excited to travel in this. I don't know where I'm going, but this will be really perfect to travel in. Um, and I love the colors and yeah. So I would definitely recommend um, kind of if you are gonna travel in this, make sure you size up in the top just if you like that looser fit. I like the way the bottoms fit because they are a little bit long for me. I'm 5'3". Um, so just keep that in mind. The next piece is by Miss Lola. Ugh, you guys know Miss Lola, my fam, my mi familia. Like I love Miss Lola so much. This one is in a size small and this is the cutest little wrap top, you guys. Um, again, I've really been loving like a long sleeve crop top moment. It's just been really nice to wear on a day-to-day -day basis without showing too much skin. Um, but definitely this is just so easy to pair with other leggings, um, jeans, you name it, it, skirts, whatever, shorts, anything. So yeah, this is a really fun top. I got it in a size small and I find that a size small for me at Miss Lola fits really well, whether it's dresses or tops. Um, depending on the bottom, I will switch to a medium. Speaking about Miss Lola, this one here, like I said, this is these is this is a case where I got a size medium. These are the leather leggings with a nice a little slit at the front or on the ankle portion. And I got these in a size medium and they fit me so so perfectly. It goes right over like the bum area, really nice. It's got like a nice little stretch to it. These are definitely, I think, one of my favorite, favorite leather leggings I've ever had in my whole life. It's got a little zip on the side. They're just so comfortable. I really, really appreciate how comfortable they are. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a staple in my wardrobe. Let's talk about two other Miss Lola pieces before we move on. Um, I got this little hat uh, from Miss Lola because I liked that it didn't have a little brim because I got this Dior scarf, the oblique print, and then it's also got Christian Dior written in the inside, but I thought it would be really cute to tie my scarf around like that and then have it kind of whatever tied up or anything like that. But I thought that was a really cute look and if it was too thick I can just fold it in half, whatever. But I really wanted a, just like a plain brim hat to wear. Um, obviously not with my hair up like this, but you guys get the point. So loved that piece and I'll just set that up here. And then look at this croissant bag, you guys. Okay, so obviously the Bottega Louis, uh, Bottega Louis. <laughs> Clearly, I'm hungry. But take a Veneta, um, the little dumpling pouch has been, you know, the internet just broke when it came out with that. Every influencer, Rosie Huntington Wiley, every single person and their mom were looking for it. They wanted it. Um, and then Miss Lola came out with a little croissant kind of version of it. I personally like it because it's got a top handle, but it still kind of maintains that element of like the slouchy leather, which I really like. Um, you can wear it over your shoulder like so, or you can kind of just kind of top handle it like that. But honestly, I feel like for trend bags, it's just Personally, it's not financially worth it for me to just invest in a tread bag when I know that I can't wear it again and again and again. Because recently I went to my cousin's, I went to go see her arsenal of handbags and she has the most incredible collection of designer handbags. But when I looked at them, it all looked really dated. So that's when I tried to look at my kind of handbag wardrobe and I never wanted to look dated where you can look at a bag and say oh yeah that was like the 1990s or that was definitely like 96 like the denim patchwork so i never want it to feel like that i want my collection to always feel very timeless so it's great to invest in pieces like this that aren't too expensive this is like 25 dollars something and you still get the look and you still get the use out of a cute little accessory like this so props to miss lola because they are on trend always um, another Princess Polly top is this one here. I wore this to a birthday dinner, um, and this is in a size medium. I love like sheer jackets like this because it's nice to wear, of course, it's supposed to be a dress, and I know that they sell this as a dress, but let's be honest, like, you can see my full hand waving to you guys through this dress. Like, I will never ever wear this, like, without a slip underneath or something, and it just comes with like an underwear. And honestly, I don't even know why, like, 
I just would I personally it's just not my style because I'm not that confident in my like everywhere that much um, and I find that it kind of has a weird fit as a dress so I've seen it worn over bikinis I've seen it worn just like over jeans and a bodysuit like how I did um, so again really love this piece highly recommend it just again um, consider the dress moment the next piece I got is from Aritzia. This Chantilly um, cardigan is a lot like my House of CB one, which I pulled. So it's got all this pilling on the cardigan and it goes all the way down. Like it's just, this one's such a nightmare. Um, even from the first day I wore it, I noticed some pilling. I've traveled with it to Australia, so maybe that's where I went wrong, but um, I was I, I love that cardigan a lot. It, it definitely has a lot of use. Um, I also don't want to get rid of it. I still want to keep it because I love it so much. But I decided to, um, I, I saw another blogger talking about this one and I had messaged her and I asked her like, does it pill because mine bubbles up, it pills, it, t it tears, it has holes in it pretty much and it just doesn't look very cute although I paid a lot of money for that cardigan. Um, and she said that this one is great, it's fine. I've worn this out about like three or four times and so far it's in brand new condition. Um, I also realized that I shouldn't be wearing this kind of stuff like out, out you know like but I would think you could travel with this so I don't know but just keep it in your mind this was on sale when I got it too so I felt a lot better getting it um, and the sleeves are just a little bit tighter I did get it in an extra small small which I kind of regret now I should have gotten a medium large but the robe would have touched the floor so kind of glad I got this too I don't know okay next piece we're just moving on there's so many pieces you guys um, let's start off with the jacket here. So this uh, cropped teddy bear jacket I got from Zara. Um, it's really recent. I think they still have it in the store, but I just didn't have a cropped teddy jacket. Like I literally have been wearing this almost every day for the last like few weeks since I've gotten it and it's been really great. And it's almost got like a Patagonia look to it because look at this drawstring. It's very, um, yeah, if you can see this drawstring, it's really like adventure <laughs> adventure I don't know these are fake pockets the ones with the buttons and then it kind of actually has that in there the next uh, oh I got this in a size small by the way got it in a size small zips over all of my um, shirts and hoodies and stuff just fine next piece I got is from Princess Polly um, this one is a, like a wrap sweater similar to the Miss Lola one a little bit thinner than that one for sure um, and then you can just like kind of tie up or pull up this area here which is really great and it kind of gives you a ruched um, kind of moment the next piece is again from Princess Polly the next few items actually so it's this leather coat the only thing I'll say about this leather coat that I don't like about it is the inside isn't lined so you can kind of see all of where like the leather has been cut you can kind of see a little bit better there I personally don't like that look but I also realize that it's fake leather it's just great for the look that you want if you like that kind of trouser trench uh, trench leather look this one is in a size US 8 and it fits me perfectly and then in here I've got a bodysuit similar to the body style of the first top that I showed you guys but it's strapless. These are just the straps for the hangers. Um, but it's a bodysuit and it's strapless. Really, really sexy, really cute piece. Great for going out. Um, if you ever wanted to wear it in the daytime, I would just recommend pairing it with something underneath like a turtleneck or uh, a button up. That would be really cute. The next piece here, I have a bodysuit underneath here. This isn't part of the haul, but it's this um, blazer that I got from Pretty Little Thing. Houndstooth blazer, US size six. This kind of fits me slightly oversized, but it's perfect. Like it covers my butt and everything. Really great professional piece just to have in your wardrobe. Pockets are actually like real pockets, which I love. I love that the buttons are the same houndstooth print as the actual top itself. It's not gold, it's not out there, it's not like a hardware, you know, it's just the same print, which is really nice and sleek. Um, but yeah, this is super easy to pair with jeans, trousers, 
um, skirts, everything. I love this piece a lot and I've been getting a ton of wear out of that. On the blazer train, we also have this Topshop blazer that I got. It needs to be taken to the dry cleaners because I did spill some sauce on it. But this is in a US size 8 and it's got a little tie around the waist. That's what I loved about this piece. I saw it, I think I was on Pinterest or something and it kind of came up and I was like, ooh, I really like that. Um, and this is, I've had, I have one Topshop blazer in my wardrobe that I've had for the last like four years and it's been amazing. I wear, even to this day, I wear more than a lot of my other blazers and it, Topshop just makes one of those classic pieces that you kind of keep in your wardrobe for years and years and years and they just stay. Like it, this one is definitely one of those pieces that it's just going to stay in my wardrobe because it's such an essential. The next set is again by Princess Polly. We've got a ton of Princess Polly stuff in here. Um, this set is just another lounge set. You have this long sleeve white sweater with a tie up detail in, with like that kind of back detail. And then I've got the matching shorts. I got this in the medium large set. I wanted it to fit me kind of oversized so that I don't have to like feel restricted and wearing like tight clothes even though it's like comfy clothes. Like have you ever like noticed girls say like, oh I'm wearing like comfy airport outfits and they're wearing like a tight legging and crop top sports bra and I'm like that is just not comfy when my fat rolls are just blur blobling, blobling, is that even a word? But they're coming out of my leggings and I'm just like, uh, yeah, no. So that's why I got it in an, a size like medium to large which I really like the fit of. Um, and then the second to last piece I got is this um, fur vest from Mango. I placed an order on Mango and I was actually waiting for more of the pieces to come in for this haul, but um, it unfortunately didn't and I just wanted to get this haul up to you guys because like literally we just went through so many pieces of clothing, um, but I actually got this on sale. It was actually really expensive originally, but I got it on sale for like a really good price. It's faux fur. I got it in a US size medium. It's got these concealed hooks, hook and eye, um, to close it up. But I was like, this is one of those pieces. Again, such an essential, quite long. I can wear this with a turtleneck underneath. I could literally wear this with so many different things. And this is like one of those things that I could see myself as a mom, after I get married, like still having in my wardrobe, Mango makes some really, really incredibly high quality pieces. The fur on this is so soft, you guys. Like, I'm really going to try and find the same link to this because if I hope they still have a few. And I noticed that the sales are always the best to shop during January and February because you get all the winter stuff on a way, 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 way cheaper price because they're just trying to get rid of it for all their spring and summer stuff coming through. But... This kind of stuff you get then and then you can wear it in the winter later. Okay, here is the last piece. I actually just washed this and I can review it for you a little bit too now that I have washed it. But it is the faux fur leggings, faux fur faux leather leggings from Zara. And I um, saw these in the store um, a while ago, but I was hesitant to get it just because I was like... Uh, do I want like a light brown? But actually this is one of the best purchases I think I've made so far recently. It's got a fake button on the front so it really gives you that trouser look but it fits like a legging. I, I wear a size medium and I find that it just like grazes over me perfectly. My biggest problem with leather leggings is I find that they slide down and for me that's really frustrating. I find that in a, like Zara is one of those stores that a small is too small and a medium is slightly just too big. There's nothing in between. And when it comes to things like leggings or leather especially, you have to kind of, it's hard, it's tricky because I could have gone with a small but I would have been, it would have been way too tight and it wouldn't have moved but it'll, it would have also cut my blood circulation off my stomach. But then these, it's super duper comfortable. I can last a full, full night. Keeps me somewhat warm, um, but it slightly slides down when I'm like eating dinner or anything like that or sitting down and getting up, which isn't a big problem for me. But again, that just shows that the waist is just slightly too big, but I needed it to fit my thighs and my butt. Um, it's got a raw cut, just literally as if someone went, Joop, 
um, right across the top and it's got like a zipper around the ankle so that you could either wear it open you could wear it closed I like wearing it closed and um, yeah this is again in a size medium wash is really great I just washed it inside out you want to hang dry it you don't want to throw it in the dryer and it just washes really really great I just realized that isn't the last item I have one more really special piece that I think you guys are gonna love and the very last and final piece that I wanted to show you guys are these these are my new babies these are the Stuart Weitzman um, nudist song heel this is in the lower heel than the like there's two options there's the nudist which is four and seven five four point seven five inches I think and then this one is just through four four inches a hundred centimeters I think um, this is what they look like I've worn them out once I do I, I do want to get the nude ones eventually one of these days because I loved, loved, loved going out in these. These were really, really great to go out in. Obviously, my feet did die towards the end of the night because they are still four inches, um, but they still look really, really stunning. Um, kind of dirty, honestly, but what can you do? Just shows you had a good time. Um, and the, I got them in the black. Ooh. I just caught that. I got it in the black patent leather um, with the, you know, the strap is just so sexy. It's barely there. Look, um, this is one of those shoes that you just need to have in your wardrobe. I honestly looked at my shoes and I was like, I have so many shoes and yet I don't have such a basic style like a strappy black sandal, which just blew my mind. I wear a size six and a half, so these are perfect for me. Um, yeah, these were just really, really great and great investment piece. So I'm excited to continue to wear these out on the weekends and um, just to like dinner parties. And um, yeah, it's a great way to just dress up a pair of jeans too. So that is going to go back in the box. But that is the whole haul, you guys. That is everything that I wanted to show you I know I had so 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 many pieces and I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing all of these pieces you guys I know you know I love clothing and fashion and things and um all of these pieces have served me so well so far I hope you guys found a few pieces that you wanted to try out maybe and a new store maybe that you wanted to try out too. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about sizing or anything down below in the comment section. I try my best to fill out the description box as much, much as possible, but sometimes I forget a few things. So if you have any questions, please remind me. Um, I wanted to also mention this rose um, bag box of roses i know valentine's day is coming up so if you guys are interested um this is a brand called rose forever in new york and they sent me this gorgeous gorgeous box or what is it box of roses um they have different like shapes a circle square um i think they have a few different sizes as well so i will leave a link to this company down below but i think it's just so beautiful it's one of those things that um if you were to get gifted this on valentine's day i know it would just be you know it's just be really really nice so um they still have their scent in there too which is really great um but yeah so that just kind of stays up there but i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you guys so much god loves you and i will see you guys all in my next video bye